Hey everyone, I'm Brendan Howard, the current Miss Coastal Alabama. Welcome to DIVE, Coastal's new student orientation and registration. We are so glad you have picked Coastal and can't wait to see you on campus. Hey there, my name is Joe Beatty. I'm the Senior Enrollment Specialist here at Coastal Alabama. It is my honor to welcome each and every one of you here today on behalf of our faculty and staff. We are so excited that you have chosen to get started with us. Your academic success starts here. Hi, I'm Ashley Pridgen, an Enrollment Specialist here at Coastal Alabama Community College. I have a couple tips for you throughout this orientation process. First thing is that you will need to get your student ID made and you can find out where to do that on your local campus. The next thing is you will need two items throughout this orientation process. The first thing is your degree plan. You will need this as you go to make your schedule with your advisor and it will carry with you throughout the rest of this process. The second thing is this navigator. You will need this throughout this orientation process to follow along with all of the steps on this video. Hey, I'm Jasmine Filial and I'm one of the enrollment specialists here at Coastal Alabama. If you have not submitted your ACT scores or taken the placement test, you won't be able to register for English and math classes. But if you submit your ACT scores and take the placement test and you can register for the placement test on our main website, coastalalabama.edu or at the nearest testing center on campus, you can register for your English and math classes. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Thewis, Jim Thewis. I'm the Director of Financial Aid here at the Coastal Alabama Community College, and I'd like to welcome you to our orientation. Um, financial aid is um, considered very hard, but it's really not. The first thing you have to do is file the free application for federal financial aid. If you don't file that, you do not get federal aid, and you'll just have to pay your bill. Now. Uh, one other point, you can file this year's, which means 1819, and you can also file the 1920 FAFSA. And we encourage you to do both, get them both done. So come August, you have no issues and your financial aid is good to go. You have to remember about communication. Um, all the offices communicate through campus email and through your MyCA account. We do not send things out to your regular email accounts or we do not use paper. How much aid do you have or how much aid do you get? It depends on your expected family contribution, which is derived from a number from your FAFSA. To find out what your EFC is, look at your student aid report when you get it and then it will tell you also what you are eligible for for Pell, which is a federal grant. Pell grants are based on what your expected family contribution is. That number comes from your filing of the FAFSA and it can be anywhere from uh, $500 to $6,000 a year. Everybody who files the FAFSA is eligible for student loans. Freshmen, up to $5,500. If you're a dependent, if you're independent, goes up to $9,500 and if you're a sophomore, it starts out at $6,500 and can go up to $10,500 if you're independent. So everybody can have a student loan. Cost, we cost $2,370 for 15 credits and that has to be paid before the start of school. So the earlier you can file your FAFSA, the easier it is to pay your bill. We do have a deferment payment plan and that you can find that out in your college navigator or visit the student account office or any office here on campus. Refunds, students get refunds when their aid exceeds their charges. Refunds are normally given out 10 days after the start of school and again if you do not have a FAFSA in you're probably not going to get a refund. Students have to maintain satisfactory academic progress. So you must maintain a 2.0 or 67% and 67% to maintain satisfactory academic progress. 
We also get asked all the time what other scholarships do we have. Coastal Alabama has numerous scholarships. They're located on our scholarship page on the, on the website. Most of the scholarships you have to apply for by the February of your freshman year. So if you're incoming, you can look at our scholarship list and we have one for uh, returning students that you have to have 24 credits and a 2.5 to qualify for. So after this term and after summer term, you might be able to qualify for one of those scholarships if you apply. Other, other issues uh, with scholarships, people all the time apply for scholarships, outside scholarships, and they're, they get taken. There are all, all sorts of um, fraud issues out there. So the one big thing is with outside scholarships, if you have to pay for it, don't take it because it's, it's not a scholarship. Scholarships are free. Now, if you need any further information, we're on the contact page and at any office, you can talk to anybody at the counters about financial aid and you can call my office or you can come and visit in Baymanette. Thank you. My name is James David Williams and I am one of the counselors in the Division of Student Development and Institutional Effectiveness. The Division of Student Development and Institutional Effectiveness aids the student by providing a variety of services including counseling, academic advising, AccuPlacer and GED testing, transfer information on university parallel programs, career development, and a computer lab. Students with disabilities who need special accommodations should contact Mr. Lee Barentine at 251-580-2109. Hello, my name is Dr. Kiki Moore. I am the director of TRIO Student Support Services in Thomasville and Monroeville, Alabama. The other directors of the programs are Dr. Carl Cunningham in Bay Manette and Dr. Keener Burkett in Bruton. Our program is funded by the U.S. Department of Education. In order for us to help with the goal, we offer success workshops, cultural trips, and transfer trips to four-year institutions within the state of Alabama. We offer free tutoring to make sure that our students stay on their academic track and to make sure that they're going to graduate. I'm Ann Strickland, Director of Distance Education at Coastal Alabama. I'm gonna take a few minutes to talk to you about our technology resources. You can reference that information in your navigator. On page 10, you'll find information about electronic registration for parking decals. You'll find additional information on page 14 about campus security and safety. On page 16 of your navigator, you'll find information about your MyCA account. That is your student account here at Coastal Alabama. You'll find very important information regarding your degree plan, financial aid, student information, how to register for classes, and much, much more. If you have any trouble getting access to your MyCA account, you can contact our help desk. Area code 251-580-4900. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to register for classes on page 20 of your navigator. You'll want to work your first semester with your advisor to register for classes so that they can authorize you to register online. For future semesters, you'll be able to use this guide to register on your own online. Your Coastal Alabama email account is extremely important. It is your primary method of communication with all departments and instructors here at Coastal Alabama. In your navigator, you'll find specific information about how to log in to your email account. If you have problems logging in, you can contact our help desk by calling 251-580-4900. We use Canvas to provide electronic access to all of our courses. On page 17 of your navigator, you'll find additional information about how to log in, get access to your courses, and access to instructor information. We provide a variety of distance education courses. On page 21 of your navigator, 
you'll see minimum computer requirements as well as minimum computer skills that we require for distance education courses. We offer hybrid courses as well as fully online courses at Coastal Alabama. We look forward to seeing you online. Cybersecurity is very important to us at Coastal Alabama. Never leave your passwords in a public location. Always log out of public computer labs and always protect your password. Coastal Alabama has an active social media presence. Check us out online. Using page 15 of the Navigator, you'll find additional apps that you can download that will help you stay connected to us online. Hey, I'm Collins Brown. And I'm Celeste Robertson, and we are two of the Student Activities Coordinators at Coastal Alabama. At Coastal Alabama, you'll have the opportunity not only to go coastal, but to go global through one of our many study abroad initiatives. Um, since the program started in 2017, we've had students that have been able to travel to Costa Rica, um, to the British Isles, and then uh, in the spring of 2019, we have a program that's going to Germany and Switzerland. We have several programs that are on the table, proposals uh, that are waiting for approval. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you check back the college website to see what programs are coming uh, in a semester soon. The first thing I want to talk about is student involvement. Um, there are over 50 approved student organizations on campus and it is through the Student Government Association. So the Student Government Association is the student voice on campus. Um, with those 50 approved organizations, there is something for everyone. Um, anybody that comes in can find an organization that they're excited about and something that they want to get involved in. And if there isn't, then there's an opportunity for them to create their own organization. Um, also, we, every semester we have something that's called Get On Board Day. And that's where our 50 approved organizations um, set up on each campus, whatever campus they're on, and they table and they get to talk about their organization and they get to um, recruit members. So that's something that's really, really exciting that we're probably gonna have in January or February of this year. And we should probably tell you about our bookstore. Um, books are available to purchase or to rent in the Barnes & Noble bookstore or online through barnesandnoble.com. On each of our campuses, there is a designated student space that's solely for students. Um, it's different on every campus, so whenever you are on the campus that you're going to be taking classes on, make sure that you check it out, see what's available, and um, see what kind of opportunities there are for you to hang out and have fun in between classes. Hey everyone, my name is Jaden Renner and I'm a student here at Coastal Alabama Community College. At Coastal, I serve as the Regional Vice President of Phi Theta Kappa, and this has given me many leadership and scholarship opportunities that I wouldn't have anywhere else. Hello and welcome to Coastal Alabama Community College. I'm Mary Beth Lancaster, Dean of Instruction for the Atmore and Bruton campuses. And I'm so glad that you have decided to join us in the Coastal Alabama family. I am one of many instructional officers who are here to serve you and make sure that we take care of your instructional needs inside and outside of the classroom. We have Vice President of Workforce Development and Instruction, Patty Houston. We have our Dean of External Funding and Instructional Services, Dr. Melinda Byrne Murphy. And we have also our Dean of Technical Education who services the Monroeville and Thomasville campuses, Linda Grant. So together we form an instructional team that's here to help you make sure that you meet your academic and your career goals. Now one of the first things that you need to keep in mind about being successful as a student here at Coastal Alabama is to make sure that you attend class. So often students come to college and think, oh, I don't have to come to class, but it is very important. You need to establish the relationships with your instructors, make sure that you're prioritizing your time, and make sure that you're attending to get the information that you need. Now class attendance may be a little different than you had in high school. In high school, you were probably in class from 7.45 in the morning until around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. In college, that's different. You might have one class a day. You might have one class that meets only one night a week. You might have all online classes. You might have class two days a week. Whatever your schedule is, it will fit you and your needs, but it will take a little time management and a little practice getting used to that. 
So our advice to you is to always prioritize, manage your time, and get a planner. Write down all of your important dates, all of the dates that you have for your assignments, for tests, for meetings, things that you'll be doing on campus. That way you can keep up with it and make sure that you are getting the most out of your experience at Coastal Alabama. One of the first things that you need to do when you come to Coastal Alabama, other than go to class, is to find your advisor and talk with your advisor about your course schedule, about your classes, about many other things that are going on to help you while you're at Coastal Alabama. If you don't know who your advisor is, all you have to do is to access your degree plan, which is in your MyCA account. Now your degree plan has your advisor's name near the top. It also has your information on it as well. But an important part of that degree plan is your plan to help you meet your academic goals. Your degree plan is divided into five areas. You have area one, which is the written composition area. Area two, which is your humanities and fine arts area. Area three is math and science. Area four is your social sciences. And then area five is your elective area. Now all of those courses together will help you meet your academic goals while at Coastal Alabama. Now part of what your advisor will do is to help you figure out what courses you can transfer to your selected college or university where you would like to attend after Coastal Alabama. The STARS Guide is designed to help you save time and money while reaching all of your goals. The best way to reach the STARS Guide is to go to the Coastal Alabama website and look at the top of the site you'll see that there is a student link. In that student link, there's a drop-down box for the STARS Guide. Click on that and you will find a very user-friendly guide to help you select the courses that will help you to transfer. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is you might decide to stay at Coastal Alabama for one semester or two semesters, and instead of earning an associate's degree with us, you might decide to transfer before doing that. And that's okay, because Coastal Alabama can help you reach that goal. A couple of things you need to keep in mind are that if you come back home or if you're in the area during the summers or if you would like to take courses online, you can do that with Coastal Alabama. If you go ahead and transfer to an institution, you can actually transfer back some of the courses to Coastal Alabama so that you can actually still earn your associate's degree while you're attending another institution. So that's just something to keep in mind in case transferring before you earn your associate's degree is something that's on your mind. Now when you're thinking about the STARS Guide, you also need to keep in mind that that is a contract between you and the institution where you're going to transfer. So make sure you print that contract, have it ready when you go for advising at your four-year college or university, and you will be all ready to go with your classes from Coastal Alabama. In the MyCA account, you'll also find information about your financial aid, about other information that you will need regarding scheduling and registration, so make sure that you check that often. Something else you need to check often will be your student email. Your student email is going to be the main point of contact between all of our offices at Coastal Alabama and you. You'll find out financial information, if you have information about any student clubs or organizations that you're a part of, if you also have additional information that you need to receive about scholarships, all of that is going to go to your student email. Another site that's important is the Canvas site. All of your course information is going to be posted there by your instructors. You have to keep in mind, your instructors are going to contact you. Make sure you stay in that communication loop. Instructors are also going to give you information in class, maybe uh, other methods that they have designed via student email, but again, most of that communication is going to come through the Canvas site. Now, often students find themselves locked out of Canvas or locked out of their MyCA account or their student email because they need to have a password reset or they have another issue. That is where students should always feel comfortable and open to contact our IT help desk. They can help you reset passwords, do whatever it is that needs to be done. But don't wait too long because you don't want to get behind on all of the great information that you will be receiving from those methods of communication. Coastal Alabama is here to serve you and to help you reach your academic goals, your career goals, your personal goals, and we're very glad that you have joined the Coastal Alabama family. On behalf of myself and all of the instructional officers, welcome to Coastal Alabama.